Abatement versus Renovation and Housing with Lead-Based Paint, presented by UA Safe State. Are you a contractor who is planning to work on housing or child-occupied facilities built before 1978? If so, you must be aware of a potential hazard, lead-based paint. Lead-based paint is common in older homes and is toxic if ingested or inhaled. It's especially toxic to young children and pregnant women who uptake lead into their bodies at a faster rate than average. If you are working on housing built before 1978, you must use special work practices to keep yourself and occupants safe. These will either fall under the Renovation, Repair, and Painting Rule, or RRP, or the Lead Abatement Regulations based on the intent of your work. This video explains the difference so that you can decide which applies to you. You fall under the Lead Abatement Rules if you are a contractor who is performing work on a home and have the intent to remove, encapsulate, or enclose lead-based paint or components which have lead-based paint. This is called abatement, and its intent is to prevent lead-based paint exposure permanently. Abatement projects are generally performed for the following four reasons. One, Lead-based paint is required to be removed because the housing or child-occupied facility is receiving financial assistance. Two, a state or local law or regulation requires abatement. Three, a child associated with the property has an elevated blood lead level. Or four, a homeowner requests abatement. Alternatively, you fall under the RRP rule if you are renovating housing or a child-occupied facility built before 1978. Renovation includes a wide variety of activities designed to update, maintain, or modify all or parts of a building including painting, window and door replacement, and utility repairs to name a few. So what's the big difference between this and abatement? An accredited renovator is not entering a home to remove, maintain, or otherwise specifically address lead-based paint. So how do you comply with the regulations? If your company renovates any housing or child-occupied facilities built before 1978, then it must be certified as a renovator firm by the state of Alabama. To start this process and get your firm certified to work in houses and child occupied facilities built before 1978, go to renovatealabama.com. If your company abates lead-based paint, it must become a certified lead abatement firm approved by the state of Alabama. You can get your abatement firm certified at lbp.ua.edu.